President Biden dealing with the economy is like a man in a rush visiting the dentist. We're in a terrible rush. Don't rush me, Sonny. You rush a miracle, man, you get rotten miracles. You got money? He's like, okay, doctor, let's not waste time with crap like gas, needles, or any of that kind of stuff. Just get on with pulling out this rotten tooth. I suppose you think you're brave, don't you? Only compared to some. The doctor's like, wow, I wish I had more patients as brave and willing as you are. Which tooth is it? We need more demons like you down there. President Biden turns to his wife and says, open your mouth, honey. What the? I mean, it's like with President Biden buying votes by giving out, quote, free stuff, which clearly have negative long-term impacts on everyone. Buying votes is illegal. Reality manifesting in the form of the economy is like, Okay, which tooth needs to be pulled to pay for all this stuff? Well, someone is going to have to pay for all this. <gasps> President Biden turns to the taxpayer and says, Open your mouth, dummy. So, uh, why are we buying all this cereal? We can do this with one poll using the income tax, or spread the pain out a bit with an inflation tax. We can do this the easy way. Or the hard way. I am all about the easy way. But hey, wait a second. Can't we do both? Can't we do both? Can't you shut? Can't you put a price tag on freedom? And as your teeth are being pulled, remember. I mean, you can't put a price tag on freedom. Always never forget that. The administration is helping you. I don't know, suppose you've got to spit things up. If you're in such a hurry, you could lower a rope or a tree branch or find something useful to do. They gave you a free present. I could do that. I have got some rope up here, but I do not think it would accept my help, since I am only waiting around to kill you. Which actually turned out to be very costly. That does put a damper on our relationship. But uh, good intentions, you know? Good intentions. But I promise I will not kill you until you reach the top. Honestly, at this point, we need to stop with the farce of good intentions. That's very comforting, but I'm afraid you'll just have to wait. I hate waiting.